February 7th, 2010. So we're just coming off of some hmm, interesting weather. Uh, I want to call it uh, abnormal, but honestly I'm not from California and I've only been here about five years so I, I really don't know how abnormal it is or not. But it certainly is interesting because over the past couple years we've had almost no rain and then all of a sudden this year 2010 rolls in with rainstorm after rainstorm after rainstorm and the last few days have just been more of the same just days of raining pretty much non-stop and that with um, the coming in of my own personal moon cycle I was expecting uh, quite the experience to be happening over the last few days and instead I got quite a surprise that was maybe 180 degrees from what I had anticipated I got three days off <laughs> Uh, nothing much from the night. I'm pretty much being let to sleep all night through when I come over to the practice space in the morning. Again, nothing much there, just extreme comfort and uh, rest and peace. No visuals, no experiences to report. Uh, so... I've spent the last three days, well, with a little extra time on my hands as new experiences have not been rolling in. I've had the opportunity to uh, reflect and absorb and uh, pay more attention. And as I began doing this, um, the one thing that was just coming to the front of my mind repeatedly, repeatedly, was, or is, this one thing that occurs uh, pretty much daily and nightly uh, in my experiences when I'm having them. And that is, and I just said it here just a minute ago, this 180 flip. And so, like for instance, I've mentioned this before, but uh, I, uh, one example of this is when I uh, get the sense of myself being bilocated. Um, I'll be laying on the floor in my bedroom looking up at the ceiling and simultaneously feel myself up on the ceiling looking down. Um, if I am in a dream and I'm coming lucid, I'll be flipped. 180 degrees around or if I'm working with the energies like in the morning during my practice time uh, uh, I may feel like I'm floating in the 3d blackness which feels a lot like floating in water and I will be gently rotated 180 degrees upside down and then turned 180 degrees in the opposite direction and so this happens in any number of ways. Uh, but the reason that I'm bringing it up here today is, well, the energies want me to bring it through, although I don't know quite what to say. And also today, um, my friend Debbie mentioned something on the Om Talks board, um, which all you Kundalini people, are probably familiar with the energies keep you up into the wee hours uh, at night and then you're so zonked out that you sleep during the day so she had said my nights have become my days and my days have become my nights and yes another way this 180 degree flip keeps getting experienced now there's something here that I 
I'm wanting to put through, but it's just, it's not all the way at the front of my mind yet, and I'm going to give it a shot here, <laughs> but I don't know how well I'll do. Um, in large part, and I know this is true of myself, and I know it must be true of some of you also, in large part, uh, my really new experiences. They're happening in the night. You know, so there is this, uh, um, this, mm, well, momentum toward wanting to get to bed so that they can happen again, or, uh, or maybe even sometimes just the reverse. <laughs> like, oh shit, it's time to go to bed again. Things are going to start <laughs> happening again. Um, But these things aren't just happening in the night. I think that we're noticing them more in the night. But they have, uh, they have transfer value. They have equivalents uh, that are occurring during the day that I think in large part are still getting by us. There's something here that the energies want me to see. I think this maybe has something to do with grounding. And I know that when, when I hear this word, and maybe when you hear this word too, um, what immediately might come to mind is to get more grounded uh, on earth, you know, more grounded uh, in the standard, solid ways we used to. And maybe to a degree, probably to a degree, that's important because when we're bringing in these new energies, when we're bringing in these higher energies, these higher vibrational energies, um, you know, we also have to co-simultaneously continue living our lives the best way we know how, but at the same time, as we are bringing in these higher energies, ground is changing. It's not the same ground that it used to be. That ground is now, um, being changed by the higher vibrational energies we are bringing to it. And I think this is why the energies keep showing me this 180 flip, this being knocked off my feet. <laughs> um, I think it's why they're uh, keeping us up at night and asleep during the day. I think that all of this has to do with letting go of um, the death grip we can sometimes keep on um, our standard way of doing things, you know, waking up just because it's a certain time, uh, eating just because this is when I have breakfast, not because the, it's right, but this is when I normally do it. So I think that they're just sort of shaking things up so that well, so that we come up off of our old ground and so that we can start cognizing the new ground that is actually here now because we have actually been bringing through these higher vibrational energies to it. Now, I know this must be seeming like sort of a mishmash in a way, or just a fast-thrown um, idea at you here, but uh, there is also something here in my awareness in this regard about configurations and reconfigurations and alignment of consciousness 
with the multi-dimensional aspects of our being. And so I'd like to go into a second video on that one because I have a feeling I'm running close to 10 on this one. So if I come back and you see from me a video about that, you know that I continued. Otherwise, uh, I will see you again this coming Wednesday. Have a great week.